Hey there everyone and welcome to a little building tutorial here in Valheim. Yeah, in case you guys are struggling a little bit with the building tool in this game or you are new to the game and you want to learn the building tool, this is the little quick tutorial for you. Today we are going to talk about the building in the survival mode alone, non-modded and also in the simplest way possible to give you the basics of building. I will have a more advanced building tutorial in the future, but this is solely for the basics. So let's start with all, I'm gonna uh, reintroduce the little hut over here. I do have some mods installed, but don't worry, these mods are only visual or to help some stuff with the inventory and eating and stuff like that, but it's nothing uh, that is tackling the building Itself. So, first of all, what do you need for building? And this is the hammer. So, the hammer tool is the most important thing when it comes to building. You can see my little dude over here has the hammer in the hand. And if I go a little bit of this area, you can see down there in the middle of the screen, you can see the red blinking non uh, letters from the workbench. So, in order to build, you need a workbench. But there are some things you can build without a workbench. And you can see the building menu over here, which you, by the way, if you have the hammer selected on your quick uh, select options then you hit the right mouse button this opens the crafting menu and first of all basics first you have four different uh, categories the first category is misc this one is the the standout one with a lot of stuff you can basically craft um, at the very beginning then you have the crafting menu which is all the requirements you have to get more advanced in crafting so these are a lot of things where you can have some food stations um, some other stuff we're going to talk about this in a couple of minutes then you have the building itself this is the all the building tools the different walls and options stuff like that and then you have the furniture to make the interior better. Do actually note that the building and the furniture is actually always requiring a working station. The crafting doesn't because you do have to be, um, you know, have the option to put down a workbench wherever you want. And to show you actually how this works, I'm going to run off here of our little building area a little bit. Now, over here in the free area, we are going to place down a workbench. You can see the red uh, color indicates where you can't place, and if it's turning into the actual color, this is where you can put it down. Now, I put this down, and you can see in this second, the option from building gets all visible. You can see all the stone over here I've unlocked is just blurred out or grayed out, um, simply because this requires a stone cutter, which I have over there. We talk about that later. But now you have the building tools itself. Now, let me just go, and before we show this, let's go through the basics of building. Now, how does Valheim work? Well, Valheim is like any other survival builder has some different building elements, such like a floor, a wall, a door, some stairs, some roofs, etc, etc. However, this game also features um, gravity. That means you have to build in a more realistic way in order to keep your building steady and not uh, having the roof or something else crashing down. That means you have to make a little bit of a plan how you build your buildings. You always want to found, uh, start out with a wooden floor to found a foundation. Um, later on you can use the stone but uh, for here we are going to start with a floor like that. And you can see I'm going to look here just like so. We're going to build this and build another one. Now if we hit these things over here you can see they turn blue blue means basically that this is a foundation the blue outline is always that what you want because you need a foundation this is the most stable element in the game that means this is where you want to start building and if we start just putting a wooden pole on it now, you can see there are things happening. In order to, by the way, I'm just going to clean off the area a little bit so you guys can see that a little bit better. There you go. Um, I would always recommend to give you guys a bit more of a free area. This is where you use this tool on 6-4. I'm having this over here that you can level the ground um, with the shovel and you want to have this one as well. You can craft this from the crafting menu as soon as you have a working station and there is a roof on top. However, Let's go into the building again. Now we want to have the pole and you can see on this little foundation I can basically place it wherever I want. I can also rotate it with the middle mouse button you rotate a piece and you see we have little steps in which we go. And this is like 15 degree steps that you go. And you have this one here and then you can one, two, three, four and then you're back around 90 degrees. So this is what you have as a control. As I said, there are mods that do change it, but this is what you want to always keep in mind, how it works and how you want to do. But sometimes you even have a snap option. So if you go here, you can see it snaps 
basically to the side of it. It always snaps to all four sides of a foundation. You can see this snaps easily into position and this is what you can do. You always want to use this basically like in games like Planet Coaster or Planet Zoo where you have the grid in which you want to connect to the grid in order to build a bit more um, structured and this is very important. You can go crazy with like freeform, this works also here by the way, um, but you can also go a bit more structured. We want to go a bit more structured now and place it here. And as I do this, you can see um, that this is going to be also blue because that's connected directly to a connection to a foundation and that is the most stable element you have. However, if we put another one on top, let me just go here and there you go. And I'm going to put this here. You can see this turns green. Green means it is steady, but it's not connected to a foundation directly. This is the important bit. It's not connected directly. Same goes if we put like a square beam, uh, like a horizontal beam over here. You can see it's green. Also, there's a little bug in the game, which still appears. So if you keep on building, you will notice that it turns blue real quick at the beginning and you might think this is blue um, but it's not so you always want to go back to the hammer to check what color this really is so if we want to put something like this beam on top you can see um, there are two options also to connect so you see this is connecting here and if i rotate this thing with the middle mouse button then eventually you will connect this way so it does connect to the upper hand and to the lower hand of the piece depending on how you rotate it. So you can actually rotate this around and as soon as you go to this lower side it just connects to the upper side. So this is actually really um, helpful if you want to build stuff like that from down here because you can't fly around so you always have to think about how you build things from the floor you know this is now the building as we have it and if we check it over here you can see blue green green fine so this is pretty steady you could still go on building higher you can make it even more steady if you put something in the middle here you can see it's connecting pretty easily and then you can also connect a smaller one in the middle there you go so this is pretty much how you would start up building a very solid foundation if you need to go higher or you want to build wider i always recommend to use also these um, angled beams you can see this is 26 degrees this is 45 degrees and you can use these beams to make things even more steady so we have a little uh, problematic point over here because these are two pieces separated um, from each other so they have one two three ticks away from the foundation so it would be better to only have one later on you get some core beams like these they are longer so you can use them to be better connected to the foundation but at the beginning as i said this is a beginner's tutorial um, for the basics you do start only with wood this is why we only do wood over here so pretty easy now this is how you start building and um, i always recommend also to make yourself it a bit easier to jump up to these areas so what i always use is like some staircases here to the side something like that you know and then you can just go up here and jump on top of your building oh yep i failed um, and then build from above there that makes things a little bit more easy but from over here you see pretty much how it goes now let's go into a bit more advanced stuff Okay, I cleaned off uh, some of the stuff we built to make things a bit more interesting. Now we have built this very easy, steady building. Now let's talk about the different uh, rotations we have in the game and how to build with them. So you can see, as I said, you have different angles how to build with. Now, um, if you want to build something more uh, interesting looking with some diagonals or even roundish, you can do so by utilizing the different angles you can play with in the game. And the cool bit is every connection point allows you to rotate the piece around itself now i'm going to show you what i mean with this now i want to have a wooden pole now in the middle of this thing which has no connection point okay so there is an easy trick to get there you have a half piece which is just one meter so in order to do so you just place one here and another one here and then you can put down a pole in the middle now you can go ahead and delete these two pieces that you don't need anymore it's almost like uh, using like a ruler or something to go to the middle now you can see this is still connected to the foundation if we check this this is still blue and directly connected no problem so what you created over here is basically half a meter step you can do even more crazy stuff with it. If you want to do some more and other uh, uh, orientations, you can utilize the rotation, as I said. So make sure that you first of all have one connected to here. And then what you want to do in order to have a different uh, orientation, you can basically just rotate this thing 45 degrees like this. And then you connect it like so. 
and now you can place another beam over here. So this one is basically having a little bit of a different rotation uh, orientation in here. The cool bit is you can basically mirror the same thing to all sides and get a little bit of a different orientation for your pieces. Let's just do the same thing over here as well. 45 degrees, do it here, put another pillar here, boom, there you go. And the good thing about this, you can still go through, you can make some custom doorways if you want, or you can simply build some awesome little structures because this thing obviously now acts as another connector piece. Now what you could do over here, just go in, it connects, and from over here you can build something like uh, I just shouldn't be in the way like this, but you can make some more cool pieces. I could also go ahead like, whoops, so. And I have like a very nice pointed little element. This is how I use this, for example, to get like a bit more of a pointed element rather than the others that have a different angle towards each other. So you can really play with the different orientations by utilizing the one meter piece and then play around with the different orientation um, methods by the middle mouse button. However, what you can also do, and this is now the next thing, let's talk about perfect circles. You want to use the piece of your choice. If you want to have a smaller circle, we can basically try doing this with this piece first. Um, let's start this over here. I'm going to uh, connect the circle just like that. You can do this like so and just always go one tick further. It's pretty simple, you know. You can, you can actually tell already that this is not a big deal at all. So I'm just going to rotate these things like one tick each at a time. And then you have, oops, uh, basically created a wonderful perfect circle, it does connect to the things and you have the one circle. Um, you can obviously make one bigger circle by just using the same piece, but just bigger, you know. Um, just going ahead here and do it like that and you, you, you get the idea, okay? So I'm not going to continue this one all the way through. Um, oops, we could have just made it a little bit different here. Let's find the connection. There you go. And then you could do the same. You have like a half circle-ish like so. That looks also kind of cool. And um, the, the good thing about this is this is how you can make some very interesting um, forms and you could basically put walls in here as well. Obviously with the half wall it's a little bit more tricky because here you would need to use uh, these things and I don't have enough wood here to show you um, but you would then go ahead and build these things in and then just continue doing that all the way around and then you have like a roundish tower if you want to build this. Obviously with the big ones you can make a huge roundish tower, uh, pretty simple stuff. I'm going to show you how you make some smaller towers if you want which is basically only like a pillar if you want but this looks also pretty cool. All right, so the next thing we are going to look at is basically a bit more of an advanced column building. If you guys want to build something more like this over here, as you can see on the right hand side, and not only this little wonky pillar in the middle that is not really, you know, it's not really looking that nice and it's also not that steady, um, we can build this over here. And uh, I'm going to show you really quick how you do this. Um, there is something very important about this to not really mess up your building because it's pretty easy to mess up your building if you do so. So I'm going to basically delete both of them. Um, just to get my wood back and then I'm going to show you. So you can see there is my little 8. Remember what we just talked about, you can bring something in the middle by using these wood one meter piece. There you go. I'm going to put, oops, I'm going to put the pillar in the middle. There you go. Pillar is put here. However, now as we put something else next to it, you will see there is a little bit of a difference and this is the height difference over here. It's a tiny bit of a difference and this is exactly the height of the foundation over here. The difference is if you put a piece snapping to these things it will always have a little bit of an overlap to really look good and so on. Now what we want to do is to build this roundish pillar around the center piece. Why do we want to do this you might ask? Well basically to keep your building in the right orientation. Remember we talked about a very steady build at the beginning and let's imagine we want to build like something like this for our building okay because then there is like a roof that we want to put on top. This is like a gable and then you want to have, you know, let's just say we want to make it like so and there is then going to be a roof on top, okay? But now you want to have this look better with the pillar around. So this is the basic structure you want to have in the middle but now you can go ahead and do the following. So what we want to do is make sure to move this thing pretty much in the position right next to here. Just be careful, just make sure that they connect in the middle. Now you can really nicely see they connect in a nice way and now what you want to do is tick this two times to 45 degrees angle and then you smoothly join that in the middle here. That's all you want to do and then you're gonna continue to all of the edges 
one and uh, two there you go make sure that you always have a good lighting not like i have right now because that's not the best lighting ever and then go ahead like so and go ahead like this and do it one more time boom there you go and now it's pretty pretty easy to just put the things on top very easy no no big deal just uh connect your pieces like so they will snap to the lower ones um so that's actually not a big problem at all and uh, just make sure that you use the 45 degree angle pieces all the time uh yeah this lighting is not really not really the best right now for me um yeah, I messed it up because I don't see a thing. Great stuff, Rudy. Great. Um, but now as it's done, you can see this is the wonderful uh, pole you have. And the reason why you always want to do this on the foundation and next to the centerpiece is to make sure you always have the same height. Because if you do this on the ground like so, I'm going to show you, uh, you will actually run into the problem, and there you can see it already, that they do not have the same height because the ground is never perfectly smooth. Even, even if you do level the ground, there is always a tiny, tiny bit of a difference in the levels, and then you get a very wonky pillar and stuff like that. So always make sure you have a foundation going on here. Um, and yeah, this is basically all we can say about the poles. One last thing I'm going to show you is a advanced roof build, and that should be it for easy building tutorial. All right, we're back and I have prepared something for you. This is actually just a very, very basic example of what you could do uh, with a roof like this while the weather is turning right now. Um, but I hope it's uh, actually visible enough for you. So you can see this is the roof we have built over here. It looks kind of cool. It looks like a little bit of a, a pointed roof to the middle and has some almost like a ship like uh, structure and it's also uh, helping you with some viking builds if you want. Now I'm gonna really quickly show you how you build this. In order to do so we are going to disassemble this thing um, to show you a little bit the structure because you have to get a little bit um, creative you know in order to achieve this. Now you can see this is the basic structure without the roofs and um, it's not as um, straightforward to build as you would think it is. Now I'm going to delete all these things real quick so you can you can see how you actually do this. Now, um, everything came down, as you've seen, as I do delete the lower part, everything falls down. This is what I meant by building steady. Now, what you want to do is basically, the most important thing is the middle piece because that's where the roof is going to be on. So we are going to start with this middle piece in indeed here. So one and uh, Two is going to start here, that's very important, uh, you will see in a bit why. And then you can put all the other pillars down like so, and then we can just connect all of this from both sides, there you go. So this is the basic structure you want to start with. And then we start with the wooden beams. Now what you would normally do is a build like this, you know, and then we build the pointed roof. But this time you utilize the trick that the game offers, or basically the, the, you know, the function that the game offers by using your mouse wheel and turning it one tick to the side, and we're going to turn it to this side basically. So I'm going to go from the front, now it's a bit easier, you can see this is one angle rotated and the same goes to the other side, just making sure that you find the right connection piece, which is over here, once is done. Nice, okay? So this is how you can do this and then you go in and you take the other piece and you rotate this once further outward. Um, we want to bring this back inward though, so what we're going to do, we're just going to delete them and we are going to just do the same again, but we don't use one tick, we basically use two ticks, one and two. And then my hammer broke. So then you do the same on the other side again. Again, remember one, two, just count with it. Sometimes it doesn't look this way, so you always have to count. And then you go to the more angled one, the 45 degrees one, connect this down here, same angle, just rotate it once back, not twice, once, there you go. And then the other side as well, here. Boom, there you go, they connect in the middle. And now, this is very important. I made it uh, intentionally this way so you can see the problem. Now I want to build this piece and want to connect it to this, but you can see it doesn't let me connect it to the center. This is because it always has the connection from these top pieces over here. So what you want to do, as soon as you have the location, delete them again, put the center piece first in, and then you go back to these and connect them like so. There's a big advantage in doing so. Now, you do have a way more steady building. Now, I'm gonna show you with the hammer real quick. So you can see, okay, foundation, 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 foundation. Green, 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 green. And you can see green, 
green and green. This is because they're all connected now to this lower end side. If you would do it the other way around, these pieces over here, as you have seen, they snap to the left and to the right, they would be connected to the top part. So this is the first piece they would be connected to. So they would actually take the weight from the structure from here to the lower one down. This is not what you want. You always want to go from the ground up to the top to make sure that this one is pointing towards that one and taking the weight distribution down here. Very important bit. And now from over here, it's pretty simple. Now you just take the roofs, you start off with the more angled one and what you want to do is always align this to this roof over here and then just, you know, you can see you have two options, the lower end or like the lowest end, the middle or the top one, it depends on your liking. I'm going to put it to the top one now on one side and we do the exact same on the other side as well. You know, just putting that on here. You see they overlap a little, so I always recommend to go with a with a slightly different angle, but that's that's just you know personal liking. And then you can do it like so, make sure to find the right angle, snap it to this thing. There you go, and do the same on the other hand side. Whoops, there you go. Doesn't didn't really take the right angle. There we go, connect it. Awesome. Now the reason why I put always the middle piece in is because that oh my god, what's going on with the with the fog over here. There you go, put the middle piece in, you can see this way, and now you can start building the roof from over here. And same on the other side, if I am able to put it in with all the fog, there you go, zooming out a little. And this is how you build a roof like that. And once you have done this, you would need to clean up the center a little bit. I would recommend always using some um, some bigger roofs because that's tiny and small. I just used uh, these uh, three foundation pieces. So in fact, it's like six meters. Um, that's not enough. I would always recommend to go like four meters and stuff. And then you can actually very nicely clean off um, the middle piece, but you can also go in and use some uh, some beams and so on to clean it off and make it look good. You can put like a statue on top or something else. Um, that always helps. Anyways, guys, I really hope you appreciated this quick building tutorial. Um, Again, uh, make use of all the grid pieces and all the connectors because they, these are the ones that help you the most in order to get your structures right. And once you have the structure done, you can basically go crazy with all the pieces. But we will have, again, a uh, more advanced building tutorial in the future. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. I will gladly answer them. Um, make sure to ask me anything you want to know about the building uh, tool in this game. And then we're going to talk about this. But other than that, thank you everyone so much for watching. In case you want to see more of that, and more tutorials make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss out on them and now stay safe everyone have a good day and goodbye